All right, we had our first kind of big news thing happen, which this is something that does happen, right? And we're starting to see this more and more, where it used to be if someone gets franchise tagged, well, that's it. They will play for that season, or they will, uh, you know, you get a long-term deal. Those are kind of the two options. Now, with the Le'Veon Bell thing, I do think it's shifted the league a little bit of there is that fear, you know, for the Steelers, like, you know, they probably did the right thing not giving them that contract, but it did hurt. Uh, them not trading Bell and kind of never getting any assets out of that situation as well. So, you know, uh, I think teams are not too willing to say, okay, you know what, go ahead and sit out a year. Obviously, if someone says, I'm going to sit out a year, you'd rather at least get some value for them. So for T. Higgins, uh, you, you have that threat. He has requested a trade from the Cincinnati Bengals, which, again, you have to wonder if this is one of the things where you're requesting a trade, but it seems like if the price is right, he would still stay, stay in Cincinnati. So it doesn't necessarily mean that he is, uh, you know, for sure, like, going to be out of here. It's kind of one of those things, though, where I think he feels like, hey, I've been in the league long enough. I want to get a long-term deal. I don't want to play in a one-year deal where one injury could be the end of my career. Uh, so I'm going to, you know, kind of, kind of threaten to sit out unless you either pay me or just trade me to someone, a place who will pay me, which, again, I know some people will say, hey, why would you want to leave Cincinnati? It's a great situation. You have a great quarterback. Well, I think if, you know, if you're if it's a millions of dollars difference that's why right and and potentially even like tens of millions of dollars you know if he gets injured this season and maybe doesn't get the deal he wants or just maybe he has a bad year and can't get the deal that he quite wants I think T Higgins is very good I don't think he was great last year I think he's coming off of maybe his worst season but I still think he's very good and the the question with T Higgins is I think a lot of people kind of wonder, is he a true number one wide receiver? Because we've seen him be in a, a great number two wide receiver for his career, where most of his career has been uh, as, you know, kind of the, the the Robin to Jamar Chase's Batman. And I think the question is, can he kind of carry a receiving core on his own? And, and that we really don't know. I, we, we've seen some glimpses of it. And I think he's looked good when he's had kind of his opportunities to do, uh, you know, those kind of things. It, it's just a question of, how, you know, just uh, how good uh, can he be in a long-term situation as a team's number one? But again, you kind of look at this like if I'm Carolina, I'm picking up the phone and I, I'm doing what I can to make this happen. They don't have a ton of draft capital, and I don't know if they want to give more of that up. But at the same time, like they desperately need a receiver. You can get a good receiver who seems like he'll go somewhere if you pay him money. Like I think there's a lot of teams that, quite frankly, should look into this. Uh, in fact, in fact, I think most teams should be considering. You know, pick. I think most teams should pick up the phone and say, "Hey, how much money is he wanting, and how much draft capital are you wanting?" And then we'll make a decision. You know, and don't make any calls before, without talking to me, right? Uh, I think that there should be a lot of attention because, again, very young, very talented receiver. Like these guys don't typically hit the open market, uh, which you know. Is, so these guys usually get uh, re-signed. And again, people might say, "Well, why wouldn't you wait until next year?" Uh, and then he'll be a free agent. Well, he probably won't be a free agent next year. Probably some team will will trade for him and give him a long-term deal. Guys like that typically don't become pure free agents. So that that's why. But yeah, uh, very interesting uh, situation. But those are my thoughts on the T Higgins, which again, does not mean he's actually going to be traded because there's a lot of times these things happen and then the team says, no, we're going to keep you on the roster for another year. Um, you know, th that is something that happens. Uh, or, you know, the team gives him the long-term deal is what I mean to say. So uh, I, I could see that happening. But yeah, we'll see. Those are my thoughts on all of that. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.